Hello everyone, Lisa Sabaniak here from lifelikeyoumeanit.com coming to you live to talk about some more coping with anxiety tips for you to use today and every day, no matter what your anxiety is the um, root of. So today what I would like to talk about might seem really obvious, but I think it's something that a lot of people need to hear as a tip, which is ask for help. I've actually seen quite a number of people do this on different social media platforms since coronavirus started. I think that is a really wonderful thing and for whatever reason it's caused people to be able to reach out and just say, even if it's not anxiety, just saying I'm feeling lonely today, I'm missing people today, you know, I'm missing hugs today or things like that. I think that's one of the really positive things that this pandemic has actually brought about for everybody is a little bit more openness with how we are doing. But I think it still goes to say that, you know, asking for help, even on a social media platform, right? Of course, you can ask your doctor for help and get specific help from the medical community. You can go to a naturopath or a homeopath and get help from the natural health community. You can ask your family, your friends, but going on social media even and asking for help. You know, I've got some really wonderful stories of people who have really not wonderful things happening right now, who have reached out on social media and have had complete strangers send them support. And one of those people is actually getting help from a, um, a therapist of some sort. I don't, sorry, I don't know the actual details, but from a totally different country who just happened to see her tweet saying that she was struggling. And not only has this person reached out and started providing some therapy for my friend while she is waiting for formal therapy to happen in her own country, but this person, as well as many others, have actually started reaching out to her every single day just with a, hey, how's it going today? You know, and that is making such a huge impact in her life. She's going on social media and telling us all about how amazing this support has been. So, you know, asking for help, you know, that help might come in many different forms. And just like all of the other advice that I have given about experimenting with what would work, it's the same thing with the help that you might get, that there might be some things that you might not think would be all that helpful, like somebody just checking in every day, especially a complete stranger. But the sense of warmth and love and community and compassion that that brings when somebody does something like that, especially when it's somebody that you don't even know, can have the power to move mountains, right? So ask for help. Go on social media or go to your friendship circle, whatever you feel comfortable with, that's the main thing. And actually share, you know, what is going on with you? Is there something in particular? Is it just that you are feeling that you would like to have more conversations with people, that you're feeling quite lonely? Or is there something even larger that's going on. And again, like a lot of the things that I suggest with coping with anxiety, this is something that obviously when you're going through an anxious period, surely, you know, if you feel comfortable and with whomever you feel comfortable, reaching out in that moment and asking for help can be really vital. However, in the moments that you're not feeling anxious and you're actually feeling like you're coping well, might be really good opportunities for you to get that conversation flowing with again, whoever it is that you feel comfortable with, because that might be the time when you're actually the most receptive to being able to have a conversation and a thought provoking conversation where they might be able to ask you some different questions that when you're in the throes of anxiety, you might not be able to concentrate enough or actually wrap your head around being able to give them a really conscious answer. Whereas when you're reaching out at other times, when you're actually managing quite well, those are the times that you can spark the most significant 
conversations with people. So please, 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 if this resonates with you, however you feel comfortable with doing this, ask for help, whether it's a neighbor, a friend, your family member, or even complete strangers on social media. It is surprising sometimes to see how many people can come together in a community that you never expected. Give us the chance. Give us the chance to help by telling us that you need that help. Speaking of help, I hope that this was helpful. I will see you again very soon. Oh, Sabrina says, sure does. Thank you, Sabrina, so much. Go on over to my IGTV if you're watching this on Instagram. I've got about 23 videos there now, all using something, talking about something to do with coping with anxiety. Same thing over on YouTube. I have a whole playlist and again on Facebook as well. So wherever you are catching this, please go and check out the other videos. You never know when one of them might really resonate with you and give you the help that you are looking for. And of course, share them out, please. You never know who it will reach and how much they might need it in that moment. Thank you so much. Stay healthy and stay safe. Bye.